Okay, hey, this is Matthew. Just want to walk you through a little TDD with Objective C and iOS. Here I have a view controller, it's called Reset Password View Controller. And the basic concept of this view controller is to take in the user's current password, their new password, and ask them to also confirm their new password. And in doing so, what it'll do is it'll make a request to the server. Um, the server will verify the information and then give me an error or confirm that things are right. Uh, in addition to that, there's going to be some client-side validation because I know the use case. And for this use case, we want to make sure that the user's password, uh, the current password is entered and that they have entered in a new password and that the confirmed password matches the new password. So let's dive in a little bit here. As you can take a look, I'm using Specta and Expecta as well as OC mock and uh, maybe in another screencast I'll go through exactly how you would install those and get those things running but for now just kind of consider those as wallpaper uh, but the main idea is that this is more like a BDD syntax if you're coming from Ruby uh, think of RSpec if you've done any Objective C programming maybe you've messed around with a uh, a testing framework called Kiwi. It's, it's pretty much the same concept, just a little bit different syntax. So the first thing we're doing here is we're describing what the reset password view controller looks like. We have a block variable, which just means that it lives inside of this block. I'm sure there's more information there, but for our purposes, just consider that. And what we're saying here is before each of these tests run, let's go ahead and create a new password, reset password view controller and we're going to initialize the view and the reason why we do this right here is in um, iOS unless the view is invoked on a view controller we're not going to get the view did load and there's some logic that happens in that method called view did load that we want to verify so the first thing we have here is we just want to make sure that all of our outlets are wired up for this particular view I'm using um, the zip file and I have a table view, a UI table view. And there's a property there and basically all I'm saying is, is that this should not be nil, that it should have the correct data source and the correct delegate. And so there's a lot of other UI set up, but this is basically just achieving the concept that I have a table view, I have some rows in it, um, I have a button that I can tap on and call the reset password action. And then there's also some UI text fields that correspond to the different um, fields that I need, which is the current password, the updated password, and the confirm for the updated password. So now we're going to describe a scenario. Uh, this particular scenario is that we're going to be resetting a password. And for this implementation, um, I have a mock authentication repository. What this allows me to do is instead of making a network call, uh, out to some repository, some server, some API somewhere, I can mock or kind of fake that implementation. And so instead of calling out, I fake it. And because I know what's going to happen, I can control the result. Because the real test isn't that the server is doing its job, it's that my client, the iOS application, is responding and doing the actions and performing them in the right sequences that I want to observe. If the server goes down, if there's an error for some reason, yeah, we can test for that, but we're not really going to care that the server in some of these tests responds, and so that's how we can mock. And so once again, we have a before each block. This is just uh, mocking out the authentication repository class, and then it's setting it on our authentication repository. Uh, this is kind of like um, dependency injection, but this is on the view controller, and it allows you to go in and set the authentication repository. Makes it pretty simple, uh, no framework or anything necessary. Uh, you can get into that stuff later if you want to argue about that, but for our sake it kind of makes this thing pretty easy. So I'm going to walk through a couple of contexts for when we are resetting the password that we need to consider, and then we'll implement a third one, and then we'll wrap things up there. The first context is that we're trying to reset the password, but we have an empty current password. So this would be akin to the user actually just hitting continue or reset password on our view without entering any information. 
So what I do here is I'm actually mocking, um, once again, an alert view provider, and I'm going to set the expectation that if the user doesn't enter in their current password, that there's going to be an error thrown, and that error is going to be handled by a UI alert view, and it's just going to let the user know that, hey, you, um, the information that you entered was not good. And uh, so to achieve this, I have an alert view provider, which allows me to mock out UI alert view, and I can, um, you know, stub out this method and have an expectation on it. So to set up the test, we're just saying that the current password, the text on that field is empty, and and then we're setting our alert view provider so that we can mock it, and then here's our test. We expect that. Um, this will be called and that will return a mock alert which is we're mocking here we expect that show will be called on the mock alert and so these are our expectations and then this is the how we act upon it we say that this uh, continue button was tapped on our view controller and then down here we just simply verified that those things took place and when I get to the third example we'll kind of run through the red green refactor stuff um, but just kind of know that this works. I'm just kind of walking you through so we can get a good overview of what's happened. The other scenario that we want to consider is that there's an empty updated password. So let's say that they entered in their current password, which was obviously Adobe Strong. Some of you may get that joke. Um, but they didn't enter an updated password. So the same kind of thing applies here. We just expect that alert should be shown, that something went wrong. And so the last test that I want to write for you, um, and this will wrap up our time together, is this idea that um, they have entered in a current password, they've entered in an updated password, but the updated password and the confirmed password do not match. Um, so this will be with an updated password and a confirmed password that does not match. And and we'll go ahead and implement our block. And just for the sake of time, I'll go ahead and copy some of this down here. And we'll walk through it. We're still going to want to mock out our alert view provider. This time we'll enter in our new password. Um, but we'll enter in a confirmed password that doesn't match. And so when we tap, we'll have the same kind of arrange, act, assert. We'll have the same actions that are being performed here. But for this time, this actually shouldn't pass. It should fail. So let me go ahead and run the test. There's quite a few tests in this application so far. So just ignore kind of the output for now. The main thing that we're concerned with is that um, we got an error, that the method was not invoked. So that's that's the error that we wanted. Um, you couldn't see that off screen, but here it is. The alert view provider, we expected it, um, the method to be sh to be called, and it wasn't. So this, this right here failed, and then everything went awry. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and look at this continue button tapped here. And... Uh, for the sake of this, I'll just go ahead and shrink everything down. And you can see my other code here. So now we want to check to see if these couple things are equal. So what we're going to say is, is if the self.updated password.txt is equal to string self.confirm password.txt. And we want the not version of this, so we're going to say that they're not equal. And when they're not equal, we want to go ahead and throw an alert. So we'll just copy and paste that down. For this error, we'll uh, say, please enter a new password and confirm the password that match. Now that we have this saved, we'll go back to our test. Go ahead and hit my command to run my test. And this time it should pass. If I did everything right, all our tests are running and ignore all that output we are green so everything's green 
so that's it for this mini screencast. Um, there's a lot that you can do when you're testing uh, your iOS applications. Uh, this is just a way to go through some of the TDD to test things uh, using Specta, Expecta, and OC Mock. I uh, hope you enjoyed this, and uh, we'll see you next time.